Okay, so at this point now we've updated our Linux operating system, we've upgraded the components, we've now also downloaded the Webmin interface package, Debian package, to our download directory. And what we're going to do now is we're going to install that Debian package onto our server. So in order to do that, we need to type sudo and then we're going to do the D package, dpkg, that's a Debian install. So we're going to do an installation. And I'm going to type the file name that we're going to install. So sudo dpkg install webmin. And as you notice there, let me go back here and type that in again for you. sudo dpkg hyphen hyphen install. I started typing in the webmin name and then I hit tab and that concluded the rest of the file name that's located in the download directory. So now I'm going to hit return and if all is well this should install the webmin interface. In fact the newer version of webmin will actually install it with HTTPS protocol. So it gives you a secure layer, a layer of security there uh, while you run over the uh, internet. Now I do not recommend running webmin outside of your network, meaning opening up firewall ports to webmin. I recommend only running webmin if you're going to VPN in to a connection into your network or if you're working within your network. But I would not expose port 10,000 and the webmin interface to the outside. It is still working through a browser. Um, there have been questions about security uh, that have been raised in the past and uh, it's just a good peace of mind not to leave yourself exposed uh, on your network. So as you can see now the webmin did complete as it says right here web installation is complete and it says you can now log in to HTTPS uh, colon slash slash Moodle and then it shows you colon and then port 10,000. Now of course um, that will not get us in from where we are being that this is a uh, connection on a remote machine, but if we were located actually at the server and we had a graphical user interface and we did have a web browser, we could in fact at this point then log in through that browser at that address and begin working on the server. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to uh, begin logging into Webmin and looking at the interface.